guess what? It's not sleep time. It is 8.02. It is about 20 minutes after I watched the video. And then I was, I was browsing the League of Legends client trying to log into my PBE account. Still don't remember the info. But I saw that Yone's abilities and champion insights were out. So that's what we're going to take a look at right now. <laughs> Let's take a look. It's passive. Way of the Hunter. Let's see. uses two blades. Every second attack to do more magic damage. His crit strength. <laughs> <laughs> we got another one. <laughs> Excellent. Awesome. People are going to be so excited for that. Oh, they're going to be so happy that we have another champion whose crit strike chance is doubled. Oh my god, boys. It is... It's a good day. I'm gonna thrust forward. This is Q. Looks like a Yasuo Q. Okay, let's see. Deals physical damage on hit. Gets a stack, Gathering Storm. Two stacks, so on his third one, he can dash forward with a wave that makes enemies airborne. Basically Yasuo Q, but he goes with it. Who knows if it'll scale with attack speed like Yasuo's does, or if it'll have a base cooldown. Spirit Cleave. Oh. Oh. That's... I like, I like that one. Healing Cleave's forward in the massive arc. Healing a portion of the target's max, max health damage. And it gives a shield. To successfully hitting an enemy, it gives a shield. Shield's power increases per champion struck. Okay. Okay, that'll be good for trading and whatnot. Also, the aesthetic of it is perfect, dude. It's like a permanent Blood Moon champion. It's perfect. What is this E? What in the world is this? What? You know, it can, it's soul unbound, his E. And then just spirit form, gaining move speed and leaving his body behind. When Yone's spirit form expires, he'll snap back to his body and deal a percent of all the damage. And... <laughs> it's like a mini Zettel. That sounds fun, right, guys? Mini Zettel. It's a mini Zettel. Fate sealed. Oh! You know, strikes all enemies in his path, blinking behind the last enemy hit. And knocking everyone airborne towards him. Okay. So. He strikes forward. And then. So like if someone was say, hold on, let's pause it. So if someone was say right here, and someone were all the way back here, he would just go th or like at the beginning and then like somewhere somewhere at the middle, he would go through. He would get to here, but then blink to the per last person he hit, which would be right here. So they'd both also go to the middle. I wish they demonstrated the blink part and not just the whole knock in. But oh well. I, I'm not that much of a fan of Spirit Blossom Vione because it doesn't fit my aesthetic. I'm much more of a fan of normal Yone, but at the same time, both of these splash arts are very, very good. League, League has been doing a bang up job about with the uh, with splash arts. It looks so cool. What up, Champion Insights? <laughs> While you were playing Yasuo, he studied the blades. Good to know. Let's see, what do Kaisa, Sen, and Yone have in common? The answer is they can all be played bot lane. <laughs> well, yes, but the answer we're looking for is they all existed in the lore before my band list. <laughs> 
Uh, Yone is the third champion to come out of the lore and onto the rift. An exciting way to move Luke's story forward. We'd be lying if we said it didn't come with some unique complications. But now Yone existed as a series of moments in Yasuo's life. So I'm purely from Yasuo's perspective. It's not enough to create a complete champion. How do you turn a side character into protagonist and anti-hero, Shadow the Hedgehog, while staying true to who they've been so far? I'll have to read all this later. And then this is this is Yone in Legends of Runeterra. Yeah. This looks a lot like Kane. I think this is what we get. This is him when he was younger, but this is what we get. Let's look back up. Yeah. yeah we're getting his hair slicked back and whatnot. Looks nice, looks nice. Okay, it seems like Azarkana is the is the demon that was trying to chase them and not the uh and not like a name for, a weird name for a brother <laughs> before that we should show that he had been mortally wounded so that's why he's bandages cool cool i really like this right here especially the swords love it Seems like his spirit thing lasts a while. Ah, the, okay. As a kind of that attacked Yone had been hunting him for some time, feeding on the negative emotions he harbored while tracking Yasuo. Yone died before it had the chance to strike. When he arrived in the spirit, almost saw an opportunity to struck, intent on devouring his soul. He managed to defeat it, or so he thought, but the consequences were severe. Next thing Yone knew, he woke back in the mortal realm with a mask fixed to his face. A mass of, with the form of the demon he just defeated, and the demon is locked in the mask. Yone is not, Yone is not a man possessed. Keep that in mind. He's he's not possessed. No, nope. as far as he can tell, the Azakana holds no sway over him. Unlike Rost and Khan, there's no connection between them. But that's not to say he didn't receive some of his power. So that's probably what the whole uh soul tearing thing is about as well as the uh shield from his w the the one that arcs out otherwise if he didn't have the azakana powers one he would have different he would have to have a different e and second his w probably wouldn't give him a shield let's see in game, this manifests as an E. Yep, yep. As far as it is true. No, Riot, no! Don't make it deal true damage! <laughs> Portion of the damage that he does while in his spirit form is true damage when he goes back. That's not a good idea. But unlike Zetterblunk, he gets no choice. Cool. Oh, what's this? Let's see, uncertain why he was not allowed to die and worried about the mask fixed to his face. He only began to hunt Azakana in an effort to better understand the mystery of his own fate. He discovered that he could seal other Azakana into inert masks by learning their nature and true name. Now strive to the and now strives to discover the name of his own Azarkana. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So, the monster that tried to bait Yasuo was an Azarkana. Disguised as an old man. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. There was two different swords opened up a lot of doors for us. Azakana Blade is really visually yeah it is. 
and is unlike any other weapon in League. That so good. So is Aatrox's sword. <sighs> Old Aatrox, of course. Not new Aatrox. That was a kind of bladed. Oh, wait. And his wind sword is the one he used before he died. Contrast between the two really excited me and the rest of the team. Yes. Originally designed to be a skirmisher, which is dual swords lent themselves too well. Human daily human blade does physical. Azkana uh, deals magic, which gives you know, a mixed damage profile. But the way he plays around his E and ultimate is really similar to an assassin. That's backland that does deals tons of damage and switch pairs. He plays sort of like a skirmisher assassin hybrid. I think this is a character I can really get behind. His Q is dedicated to his human blade and his W is dedicated to the Azakana blade. This is... Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> They really did a nothing personal kid to them, huh? You know, his Q has the same ramping mechanic. Yep. Play patterns are similar. Mechanics complement each other. His ultimate fate sealed knocks up and pulls on me, giving every asshole the chance to land the perfect ult. And sh he shouldn't feel like Yasuo's opposite. They should feel like missing halves. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good exchange right here. All I know is that I can't wait to play Yone as a support for Yasuo like a bad person. Brothers bot lane, it's so good. We'll both be O10, get ready. Yeah, but then he'll win the game because we both hit your O10 power spike. It's perfect. I'm going to take some time and actually read all of this later. But for now, I'm really actually going to go to sleep this time, guys, for sure. Riot, don't release any more things about Yone. Please, for the love of God, let me sleep. Peace out, everybody.